evening of day 20 and we have arrived at Mississauga Provincial Park just outside of Elliott Lake. We got here almost 7 o'clock. It was quite an adventure. Just uh, boiling up some water because um, Mississauga is completely off the grid except for the office of course and the water taps. So there's running water, potable running water, but there are it's only privies, no flush toilets, no comfort station, laundry, anything like that. So we're boiling water outside so we don't get the uh, trailer too humid. It's a beautiful evening. The sun is out. We have the solar panels up and charging slightly. I can show you those. We don't normally talk about power as much. That is our 320 watt Dokia, Do Dokio um, solar panel. And it's, uh, it's charging a little bit right now, not a lot. So we're getting ready to take the dog for a walk and wander around the park a little bit. Where are you going? Chloe? Up! Up! Chloe, up! What's this? <laughs> What's your smell, baby? Go back up. You lured me in by your cuteness. No dig. So we've been to Mississauga before, briefly, years and years ago, so, you know, obviously it's changed a little bit. We're just wandering around right now with Chloe, and we spot a covered, a small covered gazebo, and I'm like, did you remember that being there? And she's like, I barely remember the Stoke Park at all, <laughs> so, not in a bad way, just... I remember the owls singing in the night, so the next day I was a bit bleary-eyed because I didn't sleep, but, but I had such a good concert that I didn't care. Yeah, so here... We're just wandering around and look what we found. Isn't this cute? With a fire pit. So obviously somebody's moved the picnic table, but isn't that cute? That is adorable. Aww. It's adorable. It's adorable. Another wedding site. Well, no power here. Where are you Ooh, look at this tree. What are these? Did I mention today is day 20? And it's 29 days, not 28 days. So let's let's all keep up. 28 nights, 29 days. And I have an entire beginning of this series that you're gonna be hearing 28. And it's actually 29. I'm gonna to have to dub over in some other language or something. In case you don't know, Mississauga Provincial Park is under the canopy of um, Ontario Provincial Parks, but it's actually run by the town of Elliott Lake, which is just south of us. They're not, they don't get the same funding, that's for sure. And so some of the roads in here are a little difficult, a little, so be careful. There are no electric sites. There are lots of seasonal sites, so people who are, um, have their site here throughout the season. There are generators. But compared to last year, we're seeing a lot more. Um, we're seeing a lot more solar panels, which is awesome. So when we came back here years ago with our previous dog Maya. We camped at that site, and she just saw it. And it brings back a lot of really, really good memories of of Mississauga, but also of our precious Maya. But you can't go down there. Somebody's actually on that site. So we, we came here in a bowler. We borrowed a bowler from a friend of ours, friends of ours, and we parked there. We could get down to the water, and at night we'd have to walk down this road. 
And at the end of that road is a privy with no lights. I've noticed they've put lights in since then. It was so dark, like, I mean crazy dark. And I've been inside of a cave where they turned the lights off. It was crazy, crazy dark. And it was a little eerie, cool, really, really cool, but definitely eerie. And that was the farthest north we had ever camped until this year. So we came back. So all of the rest of the, the places that we're going to be going to, um, Mississauga, Chutes, Kilbear, and the last places, Earl Row, we have been to before. So we are going to get to go to some places that we haven't seen in, when did we come here? Six, seven years ago? I can't remember. This was kind of exciting. Okay, so I'm exhausted. It is 8.37, I'm so old. But I'm exhausted from the day. We had a really interesting um, drive from Pancake Bay to Mississauga. We drove along the Trans Canada Highway down into uh, Sault Ste. Marie, just the top part of Sault Ste. Marie. The, the route took us kind of near, kind of up and around most of it. So if you're ever driving through um, basically the um, Batuana Bay area, there is a place called Voyager Gas Station and Motel, I believe, and they have um, amazing apple fritters there. So after we got our apple fritters, and there was a beautiful view there of the bay, we continued along our, our route and it took us to Iron Bridge. And from Iron Bridge, we headed north. I can't remember the name of the highway, five something. Um, but it's the route, it, it, it claimed it was the faster route. So we, off we went. We went up that way, turned onto a gravel road, uh, varying levels of gravel road. So we didn't get to drive very fast. So we had certainly did not make the time amount that they said we were going to. And then we came partway through this, it was like 53 kilometers, I think, on this off and on gravel, um, hard packed, uh, and then gravel, and then really loosely gravel um, road. It wasn't unsafe. It's, you just have to go slow when you care about your vehicles. And then we just started seeing trees down or trees on the lines. Um, we thought they were hydro lines, but it turns out it was the Bell Telephone lines. And everywhere you looked, there were, there were trees down. And it got worse and worse and worse. Beautiful views of rock cliffs as you go along the route. Beautiful views of a, a variety of different rivers. Um, the Miss Mississauga River was one of them. The White River, the Little White River. I'm trying to remember the different signs that we saw. But then all of a sudden, um, there's some work people in front of us and they pull us over. Or they don't really pull us over. We pulled over and we're like, what's going on? And they're like, we had a microburst last night during that great big storm. And it took down tons, I mean tons of, of trees. And a whole bunch of them landed on the bell lines, but also on the road. And so they've been spending all day just clearing the road and not even like, you know, perfectly, just enough so that at least one lane could go through. This is the end of day 20 and we are going to do some hiking and possibly canoeing. Um, the canoe fees seem a little bit higher here, $45 for 12 hours. Now I'm not, I'm not sure if that's 12 hours. Like The last time somebody said 12 hours, they actually meant 24, where, you know, I want it at one today and I'll give it, I give it back to one tomorrow. So that's not as bad as 12 hours, AKA eight to eight. I'm not even sure how late they're open. So we will see you tomorrow or in the next video. And I hope you're enjoying these videos in the, our 2021 Northern Ontario camping escape. So thanks for joining us again. It's Trisha from Nature Lover Canada. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment below how you're enjoying them and what your favorite parks are along the way. And please subscribe. It really helps us to continue to make videos like this for you. It is absolutely free, but you'd be doing us a big favor. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. And if you're out camping right now, maybe we'll see you out there. Day 21, we are at Mississauga Provincial Park. So here we are at the beginning of the Semiwate Creek Trail. It's 1.5 kilometers, the thing says 1.4. So let's go and check it out. What's it? Go get it. 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 Go get
Right where my crayfish. Oh, you put your foot right where my crayfish was. 